you guys had a pretty good split in the regular season, right? But had a kind of a drop in the performance in the playoffs, I would say. Do you want to maybe comment on why you guys didn't perform up to the expectations? <clears throat> well, I think we had some problems on the inside of the team, I would say. So that's why it was tough to get to playoffs because in the BO5 you are not prepared mentally, in my opinion. So then if we lost one or two games, we were kind of exhausted, if I could say it like this. And then we just didn't perform on our level like we should have. I also would say that me and Vander underperformed in the BO5 versus Origin, we should have played much better, in my opinion. Uh, that's because I just felt like beforehand we didn't put enough effort before the week, I mean before the games. And against, against Fnatic, I think we performed like way better, but still in BO5, it just feels like, I know, we, we are just exhausted and in the fifth game, we just lost. Yeah. So you talked about exhaustion. Do you think that the split was too long, maybe? Like, did you feel like burnt out or anything? Or what was like the reason for being exhausted? I, mean, I think um, this is not about being, uh, like the, the BO5 was too long or anything like this. It was more that, we just, I mean, it's hard to say, you know, because yeah. it's not like something I, I should probably share, but it, like between the games, there was a lot of emotions that people were going through and something that were said shouldn't have been said. And, it, you know, we just lost. <laughs> but on. I think we will yeah. be fine now. So. Okay, so moving on into the new split, right? Do you think that changing that one player like the AD carry freeze will give you guys a completely fresh start and start over again? Or do you just start working on the problems that you had already in the last split and just keep improving on them? Like, what's your take on adding like the newest addition, the AD carry? Well, I think that primarily, overall, we focus on the team and the team performance and the team play. So we don't really look to have star players because in our opinion, it's more like us five playing the game and uh, coach Proly instead of having star players that carry the games. So I don't think Forgiven was necessary uh, when it comes to that. I think Freeze is on similar level and he can provide so much more when it comes to analysis, when it comes to uh, team play and when it comes to overall talking and being active in game. So I overall think it's an improvement, but I think the effort that we need to put um, is higher and I think we need to work harder as well because I think we have we are capable of going towards finals right now and we are ca capable of actually placing a good seat in Europe but it's just a really hard uh, way before us but I think we will, we will make it. <laughs> okay, so um, did the t team dynamic actually change a lot by swapping out one high resource AD carry for another? I mean, Freeze and Forgiven have like similar styles kind of but it must have changed something in the team dynamic, right? Well, I think maybe, kind of, maybe I'm not that much on the bot side of the matter anymore. Yeah, <laughs> I don't cool. need to be, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, overall, I think it's more that we still play, like we, we believe in the right play and we always try to reach the right play. So when we were playing with Forgiven, it was not like we had uh, only one play style, even though it looked like it, even though it looked like we always play on bot lane and on, only push 24 seven and then take uh, one to two reds and then uh, we were running around a bit uh, and didn't know what to do sometimes. It was more that we just kind of, yeah, like I said, believe in the right play and then if we see that we have to play on bot with freeze, we will. But if we see that maybe other side of the map needs more attention, we will go for that, you know. So yeah, maybe we change kind of team dynamic, but I don't really know just yet. We will have to see in the LCS how uh, it works out. So uh, talking about other teams, were you surprised by any roster changes? I mean, I think pretty much every single team swapped uh, members. It was like kind of a crazy short off season. Do you think that, like which team benefited the most from the roster changes, like off season well, kind of? I guess, I don't know. I mean, Korean takes our jobs, you know. They, they can come to Europe and they are just better, you know, what can we do? <laughs> yeah. But except for it, I think that maybe it would be G2 probably. I think even though Emperor and Hybrid were really good players, I think Sven and and uh, and uh, Miffy are really good and they are probably the best bot in Europe. So adding them to the best roster you had is pretty big. And also, what other teams do we have? I think we will be way stronger as well. And then obviously Fnatic with Bora instead of uh, Clay is huge improvement as well. So yeah. yeah. So. Do you think that Fnatic adding Yellowstar back will 
lead them to like this 18-0 performance again? Or what's your general take on the fanatic change that they brought well, back Bora? To be honest, I think that it was more Rainover and Huni and then Yellow Star Jab, you know, it's, it's not like he was the only reason why they went 18-0. But yeah, I think it will improve a lot. We screamed them already. I think they look way stronger than they were. I think Yellow Star is... Maybe he was not, he's not as good as I would rate him one year ago, but he still is like really smart and he does so much more than other supports uh, compared to Kai, for example. So I think they will be way tougher this this um, this split. Also, I think Fabian, Fabian and Reckless can focus more on themselves now instead of trying to talk a lot in the game, even though they, they could still do it. So they could probably, probably I mean, they will probably play uh, much better, you know, so it's going to be interesting speed. I think every team improved so much. Okay, so what's your general take on the meta right now? Do you think that the Dragon change and the Rift Hell change kind of was good for the game, like healthy? Or do you think it's like, well, it's RNG, you don't well, really like it? I mean, you as a jungler, <laughs> you, you have to like have a preference, right? Do you like the old meta where was everything like calculated or do you think the, the RNG is kind of good in the way? Well, I think that RNG is not Good. I don't really like it. I mean, I remember we were playing a scream and we were controlling the Drake really good, you know, and then out of four Drakes, we had three win Drakes. So it was so useless, you know, it was actually, we were so mad, you know. But uh, then some games, you know, we do the same and there's like three Fire Drakes, Inferno Drakes, and it's so much greater impact, you know. So I don't really like the RNG, but overall the Drake changes focus people to actually um, fight a lot more towards the early game. And then it could make League of Legends more interesting when it comes to actually kills and stuff like this. But I still think that we will have to see how the meta calculates and how it, do, it will end up in you know a few weeks. Because as for now, it's too hard to judge what will be the correct play to play the game just yet, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the Drakes, I think they are, well, maybe I would give like buff to Wind Drake, for example, but mo most of them are kind of balanced, even though, you know, if you take Mountain Drake, it's not that useful as long as you don't take Nash or something like this. Well, I think we'll see a lot of stuff in the in the CS about the Drakes. I think it's going to be interesting, yeah. yeah. So uh, another topic, obviously, with the Dragon change, do we still see lane swaps or not? If anything, have we see like a reduced kind of like, are lane swaps still a thing or not, basically? I mean, that I can't really say. You will have to see that in the CS. I just I can say that going back to the Drakes, the last Drake was so useless compared to those four Drakes wow. that is going to yeah make the game more interesting when it comes to lane swaps. Well, Herald got deleted that we know, right? I mean deleted. It's way more about being able to one v one with Herald now instead of being uh, the pushing the lanes like we saw in the lane swaps. But when it comes to lane swaps, I can't really talk about it just yet because. Mm, like I said, there's still no right play, I mean no right way to play the game and we still have to figure out what to do, you know, if, if it's still viable or if it's uh, super useless right now. Alright, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good.